Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome off the road grid Super C from Integra Coach. This is the 2024 Integra Coach Accolade XL Model 35L. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Accolade XT and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome Integra Coach XT Accolade. I mean, look at the exterior look, the black on black, the paint job, but I'm telling you, it doesn't just look good on the outside, it looks phenomenal on the inside. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good, I am so excited to see this. I don't think I've gotten to look at this, did I? We've actually done a review of the, uh, we've done one of these last year when it first came out. Last year, so I'm overdue. Yes! I, I, look at this, I cannot wait to see the chassis. Actually, I actually think we did the um, Jayco on the F550. This is the sister product, the Integra, and it is on the new F600. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Integra Coach Accolade XT 35L. The actual tip tip length is 37 feet, four inches. This sits on the Ford F600 XLT chassis. It has that 6.7 liter power stroke. It is four by four, 330 horsepower, and 825 pound feet of torque. And then look at this zombie killer right here. I absolutely love this. This looks cool. It looks mean and aggressive. Not only that, I love this year of the Ford headlight designs. I did see a video showing the 2024 chassis, and I don't think they look as good as the 23 chassis. Just so everybody knows, 23 chassis, 24 motorhome. So if you're looking at this, I would definitely buy one with this awesome halogen style LED lights. It looks really, really good. Black cab. And then look at these tires, Dre. They're the Firestones. I love those. 245-70R, 19.5s on a Super C. Hmm. And look at that suspension right there with those Coney shocks. Andre, this thing is America. Right up front here, we do have a very nice bunk over the cab with lights wow. in the molded cap, an awesome front windshield, and notice how there's no seams in this cap. It is awesome. Big Ford pickup st truck style mirrors. And then right here, we do have cameras on the left side and right side. And then check this out. We have these awesome <gasps> aluminum oh, slam latch doors. I love it. No carpet. How do you like that? I like it a lot. It's that diamond plate. Yes. It's very, very awesome. Nice power awning with LED lights. And it is an armless awning, Andre. So if the wind blows too hard, the awning will automatically retract itself back in. Because it's Integra, you do got the two-year warranty, three-year structural warranty and you do have frameless windows throughout this motorhome. Right here, we do have storage. It's a pretty, pretty awesome paint job, isn't it? Absolutely, I freaking love it. Right over here, we do have a propane tank. And then Miss Jen, if you could, bing, please put all the specifications about this motorhome right there for everybody who's watching on television. And then speaking of television, we have a TV right there, Andrea. Nice insignia TV with Furion sound system. Power outlets on the outside, very nice. More storage right here. And then a Dometic water heater right there. And then coming around the back, Andre, we do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. We do have a 12,000 pound hitch and this motorhome can tow 12,000 pounds. Now I always like to tell people eight, nine, 10,000 pounds. Always know before you tow, because it does take away from your towing if you load up the motorhome too much. The fiberglass rear cap looks fantastic. Nice backup camera there. And it does have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. And these are the same style of lights that's on that front cap for when you go out in the middle of nowhere and you need some light shining so you can find your motor home again. All right, coming on down here, got storage there. Uh oh. 50 amp power cord. All right. And then right over here. Is your Very nice. holding tanks. I love that. City water connection, black tank flush, 
Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Paper towel holder. Very nice. Right here's where you fill up your diesel fuel. Okay. Here's where you dump in uh, one of your gray tanks. And over there, that's where you uh, dumped your black tank as well. Ooh, right over here, we got bang. some batteries. On yeah, nice. Tray. Very nice. Other and then, side? yeah, more storage. I'm so storage. glad they went away from the carpet. Yes. And right there, that must be DEF? I don't know. Yes. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motor home looks America, but it is the inside that looks even better. Let's go take a look. Does Max get at corporate? He sure does. He's just excited because he likes Super C's. We didn't even tell everybody that we're in Michigan. I know, guys. If you didn't know, we are in Wixom, Michigan right now. We forgot. We were ba we're back from Hershey. And Matt's going to get open the house. Carrying capacity. You ready for this? Yes. I'll never forget it. Okay. 2,222 pounds. Wow. All right. So um, opposing slides are in, but look, I still have walkway to get up here. And I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see that. It's it's kind of little, but it's doable. Opens a lot more when you get in the kitchen, of course. You can still open the fridge. We have a split bathroom. And it looks like the bed is a tilt-a-bed. And here is the toilet. And Andrea, while we get these three slide outs out, we gotta give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This video is sponsored by 3-in-1 and their collection of easy to use products perfect for maintaining your RV. Today, we are taking a look at the 3-in-1 Window Care Track and Dry Loop. This reduces friction and wear, corrosion and protection, and it won't attract dirt or debris. The only thing you need for this is a tall frame. Hi, Will. Hi, guys. Here you go. Show everybody how easy it is. So we'll start up here. You really wanna get this one right inside. So track and just come all the way down and around. And let's see how smooth this window closes now. Smooth as butter. Guys, that's the three in one window and dry track loop. Thank you so much to three in one for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you get everything you need to maintain your RV by clicking our link down below. Let's continue the video. Yeah. Andrea, as you can see, Big, big slide outs. This motor home is big and spacious. It was a little tight when the slide outs were in, but it totally makes up for when you're parked and when you're camping. We are getting started in this cockpit area. So first and foremost, we will touch on this later. <laughs> it's, it's tough to crawl down there. Crawling down from the RV part is always a pain in the butt in any of these styles. But, th but once you're sitting in it, it's super nice. And you got the doors. Andre, I feel like I'm just driving a pickup truck. You know what I'm saying? I can barely even see the bunk over the cab. I got a nice steering wheel, nice digital dash right there. You got your camera screens there. You're able to see what's going on. F-Series is going to have the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, nice air conditioning controls there, power and USB, 12 volt, everything that you want. Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, everything that you want. It's super duper nice. Then in the co-captain seat, I'm not gonna make Andrea slide down here. It's very comfortable, especially if you're a taller person, Andrea, and you can't fit in those E-series e van cabs, you can easily fit in this unit. You got cup holders here, a nice little place for your phone, and it is an awesome, awesome chassis. And again, on an amazing ride, especially with those Coney shocks. And then up here, we do have a bunk over the cab, Andrea, 750 pounds in this bunk over the cab. Fan freaking tastic. You got USB cup holders and powers up there. You do have some puck lights, and I love this front windshield. And if you don't want the windshield up, you push this button, and it goes up and down just like that. It does come with a ladder as well, and we have a privacy curtain right there. Yes, ma'am. And then over here in the dinette, this dinette does drop down to make a bed. Okay. There is cup holders here. There is power and you can see that we got a TV on a televator right here. And the TV does sit directly across from the sofas, which I'll show you in a second. But what I love, Andrea, is if you don't want this TV up, all you gotta do is push this button down and it's going down, down, baby. 
all the way down. Yeah, I definitely like that better than the TVs up in the bunks. Yes. You know? It goes all the way down. And then right here, we do have daytime blinds and privacy blinds, both slow rise. Love that. And then let's check out these balances, huh? Integra Coach. Approved! Ding! Oh, Andrea loves these balances. Yes, it looks great. All right. And then let's see. Okay. So first we got car seat tether here. There is seat belts in all of these. It and it appears to be four. There is storage underneath. And nice. we got the piano hinges. Thank you, Integra. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you kindly. Also, I didn't mention there is a USB right here. You can never have enough power outlets in these RVs. Definitely. And then directly across, Andre, look at the new cabinetry. How do you like it? It's okay. It's yeah, okay. it's a darker brown, but like they did it like an Integra coach way. So I really do like that. Plenty of storage above there. Again, another nice window with the slow rise shades. And again, I am directly across from where the TV is. I'm looking head on at it, which a lot of brands, Andrea, when they have this style of floor plan, they're putting the TV in the bunk over the cab. So I like this really comfortable theater seats, cup holders here, USB, electric recliner. All you got to do is go like that. You got your remote holder right here. Very nice. Is it comfortable? Yes. This unit is very nice, very comfortable. And I wonder why this cushion keeps falling. Probably because the seat belts are there. It's not falling. There you go. Really nice two sofa seats. And then you have this huge kitchen. And before we take a look at the kitchen, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. The people have seen enough. You ready for this? I'm ready. MSRP. On this motorhome here, stock number 288734 is $360,285. Andrea, MSRP. But we're General RV. You know that, right? And that means we get everybody the absolute best price in America, especially on Integra coaches. We have it 34% off wow. on a 2024 freaking fantastic to a sale price of $238,995. That is the best price in America. And Andrea, I know I can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that, just a little bit more. All you guys gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us, Andrea, and a member of our team will help you guys get the absolute best price in America, especially on Integra Coach, because you know who's favorite, you know who's you know who... Who loves Integra? The most? <laughs> you. This guy. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Andrea, show us his kitchen. Okay. So I'm going to start right here. Uh, we've got a nice cabinet up here. Um, solid surface countertop. Very pretty. I actually like this. Uh, I'm not really a fan of corner kitchens, but I like all this counter They space. did a good job with their corner kitchen. We have a uh, tower of power. Hey, that's a nice tower of power there. Ooh, good size doors. Two, and then one more. Oh, that's a big drawer. Yes, ma'am. And then up here, we have the um, high point convection microwave. All right. A two burner Furion induction cooktop. Yes, ma'am. Under there, we've got, oh, wow, some more storage. Okay. Good good space for pots and pans. And then over here, wait a minute. Oh, they oh. are doing a two tone color. Do you see? Ah, that? dark brown and dark brown. Yeah, okay. Hey, Andre. You yes. know that book, Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes. Well, there's 500 shades of brown. <laughs> Very true. And then up here, we have a, uh, more space, more storage. And then we've got, what kind of sink do we have here? Uh, residential style sink there. Yes, and please, please don't extension. forget this backsplash. Look at that. That looks like it's hand laid tile there. I'm not really a fan of it. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like... Um, oh, I like it. It could have been... Stone. Yeah, it could have been more though. Like they could have continued it over there. Okay. Maybe. 
And then under here, we got more storage. Very nice. And then right here, there is a uh, Samsung residential refrigerator. Excuse me. Right. How are you going to just say right here? I mean, this thing is massive. It is massive. Actually. We're in a Super C. This is crazy. Right. It, is, it is actually massive. I love this. This would run off your inverter. Yes. And of course, it does lock into place. And then over here, I get, oh, I think we have the pantry. Hold on. As well. Oh, I love this one. Unreal. I love this. Unreal. This is my favorite type. Love that. All right. And then, um. If you back on up, Andrea. Oh, sorry. All the way. We've got that pad there. Yep, right here is the uh, electrical system. I believe it's called the Firefly. You're able to control your lights, slide out, thermostat, air conditioning, everything. And then here, Andrea. Oh, nice. They do an encore shower. Andrea, this is a 30 by 36 Encore shower. This is absolutely fantastic. This is a wonderful shower. It kind of has a little bit of a big step up, but it's not bad. Yeah, no, it's definitely a step up. But I, I don't mind a step up with it um being such a big shower. And then over here in the bathroom, we have nice storage above. Really nice mirrored medicine cabinet with tons of storage there. Nice sink. Not solid surface, okay? Oh, I like that. Little, Little bit of storage, storage underneath, there. okay? Uh, drawer here, nice toilet paper holder, and liquefied, our brand of RV toilet treatment. Guys, go to primepoopinposition.com to pick up a bottle. We now have lavender, easy to drop in pods, and you can get it at Amazon, eBay, Walmart.com, and at your local General RV. Pour some toilet on, Andrea. On a pedestal. Yeah. Interesting. <sighs> They've done so many things wrong here, Andrea. <laughs> but somehow, some way, they still manage by the skin of their teeth that this is a prime poop position. Ding! But I'm telling you what, barely. And it is an electric toilet. Very a water, nice. One of those water saver toilets. So coming into the master, we do have a nice pocket door right there. Yes. Pocket door, king size bed. It is a tilt up bed. We do have two uh, USB ports on both sides. You do have to push that button to get this bed down. We have very nice storage above here. And there is power in a hole right there for you to hook up a CPAP machine. But these are some pretty deep cabinets, so sure you, you better are. have some long arms if you right. plan on hooking up a CPAP machine. There is a second air conditioning unit. Also, look at the end of the bed. Yes, I like that. Yes, so you can sit here and actually put your shoes on, you know? Right over here, we got nice drawers. And guess what, Andrea? These drawers come out, and you can get a side... Nope. You can get a combo washer and dryer in here. I was trying to be smart and I and I got all my words tied. Right here we have tons of wardrobe space here. Fantastic. Nice insignia TV with storage underneath. Fireplace Furion. It does produce heat from electricity. Nice drawer. Big drawers. Big drawer. Wow. Very nice. Oh, that's what I like to see. Yes. And then right here we have a really nice good size wardrobe. Yes, ma'am. And then two more drawers. All right. And notice how none of the heat ducts are in the floor. Right. No, I love that. Okay. Very, very nice. Andrea, that's it. That's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things that we love about this Integra Coach Accolade and three things that we just don't like about it, Andrea. What do we do first? Matt, let's just do three things that we dislike about it first. First one's on the outside. Andrea, dislike number one. Even though this is a super C, and even though this is a fantastic price motorhome, it's still a diesel motorhome. And not only that, there was plenty of space in here. Andrea, this 50 amp power cord, I really want an electric reel with it. Again, it's not like a, it's not, one, it's not a deal breaker at all, but like I normally don't penalize class C's. But again, when you're super C and you have this space, I want a 50 amp power cord reel. That's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? That is dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, oh, okay, so I am gonna go here. Normally I wouldn't go here, but 
I don't like the fact that you have to really get down to climb into the cab. Yeah. I know it is what it is. It's a Ford, you know, but to me, yeah, that, that would be just too hard for me. I, Back I, and forth coming into the RV. Andrea, I 100% agree with you. And again, it's not a Ford thing, but it's this pickup truck yes. style. Because the Chevy does it, the International does it. Whenever it's down low like that, it's always a little bit of a pain in the butt. That's dislike number two. And then, Andrea, do we have a dislike number three? Mmm... I will say this, to your point, I will make it that shower step. Um, that is a awfully big step up for the shower. But again, that's three things we don't like about it. Okay, now it's time for three things we love about it. No heat ducts in the floor. Yes. So if you have a pet, you're willing to sacrifice and make that step up because you don't want to have the heat vents in the floor right. for your babies to get their claws stuck in it or whatever. So that's just a little sacrifice. It's a pro and a con, give and a take. And that is like number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Like number two for me is I'm so happy with the TV placement. Talk to me. I love that it's on the televator. I love that it's over here. You know, a lot of times it is on the bunk and it uh -huh. swings out and I'm just not a fan of that. Can we combo that with these opposing slides? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah, spacious when they're out. Andrea, let's go outside. Cause you know, dislike or uh, like number three is going to be a combination with me. That exterior storage, aluminum slam latch doors, Andrea. And no carpet in the storage. No carpet in the storage. A true seamless fiberglass front cap, an awesome F600 chassis, diesel power stroke, badass and awesome with that front bumper. Andrea, this is an awesome looking motorhome. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're ready to buy an Integra Coach Accolade, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvrvs.com or call 844-969-4033. Andrea, we sell Integra Coach in every region of America, right? The Utah, Michigan, Illinois, Virginia, Florida, we got you covered. So please reach out to us because nobody's gonna beat our price on an Integra coach. You know why? Because they're my fave. Andrea, what say you? That's very true, Matt. I know you wanna be the number one Integra dealer in the country. Well, at least for, <laughs> for super C's. Right. In, in regular class C's. Um, hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. We know Integra reads the comments, they do watch the videos. So please leave your feedback guys and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Thanks so much for watching guys. We hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.